Oh yeah. Hello people of the internet, welcome to this. My RA21 Toyota Celica, which I stuffed a 2UZ V8 in from my dad's Toyota Tundra. If you're new, you'd like to get caught up on the last video where I worked on it, up above my head is possibly a link to the last video, or it could be a discussion about why pigeons make terrible San Francisco taxi cab drivers. For today's project, I have summoned the resident fabric cobbler to help with this because it's going to be tricky. Yeah, well, I don't know. Looking at it, it doesn't look that bad. Many of you have already asked how I'm going to keep this car from folding in half from the torque of a big V8. Because this is a unibody car, these rails right here are the front rear subframes and they must be connected to keep it from tacoing. Tacos sound delicious right now. Because this, when you accelerate, this tries to drive forward. So if you can add, if you can, if you look from the back of the car, this is offset this way yeah. compared to the rear one. So ideally you would just continue this totally straight all the way back and butt it up against this. And also like kill two birds with one stone, reinforce this at the same time. So the cleanest way to do it, because if you look at how low this rear floor is, would be to inset it up into the floor. And yes, the car is in high build primer. Don't worry, I'm doing one big video on the body working process. When it's in final color, it will have all that stuff in that video. Well, the front seat, you can see bolts in right here. Yeah. So you'll only ever see, I don't know, the last eight inches of that little strip and it'll be give or take like right here. And it runs. So it's in the passenger, it's in the rear seat footwell, but with the seat as far back as you or I or anybody normal size driving it, you'll only ever see that much of it, you know what I mean? Yeah. The only other one you have to do is reinforce where the uh, upper four link mounts. Just because those ones are going to try to rip themselves out going that way. Hmm. You don't want to need something that goes like from here to here? Nah. I trust your advisement since you did go to school for mechanical engineering. This little like 18 inch section of floorboard's got to get cut. What you don't realize is a metal supply store is a car parts store. You just have to assemble. That thing's huge. Big shtick. Shapes. I can see it coming together now. Oh, no, that's cut. What do you think? skinny enough that it's gonna perfectly fit. Like you're gonna probably have to whack it in with a hammer, but it'll fit between those two. Here's me just spitballing. So we can actually find this since you can't see this on the top side of the car. If you were to drill a hole right here, mm -hmm. that would kind of give you an idea of where center is at on this guy. Yeah, and then you can just use the body saw and cut it out to the sides. You can slip, you're gonna have from the inside of the car, you slip it in like this. And then you have to cut this whole section out right here. So it'll work good. And, and then I just have to make it like a little reinforcement brackets. I'm gonna try to get this dead center as much as possible. For those of you with a stepper bit fetish, this one's for you. Oh, bit, they come in handy. Next hole, that's what he said. body saw uh, the collar inside it is cracked though so that sucks these things this is a snap-on one they're really expensive stuff is so thick this is ridiculous it's like an inch thick at least So something like that, and then yeah, that will slip down inside there once the back hole's cut. Number two, going up. There's my hole. 
I didn't really mean to make that that's one as big as I did. Yeah, that's okay. No. So I know for a fact it's going to be dead up against it's the back It's going to be flat against this, so you drill a hole back here in the corner. Because you want this to go up in there, right? Yeah. So you don't need to cut it out all the way back here. You probably start right about here. Yeah. And cut it all the way forward to here and over. Okay. Probably, probably right here where the floorboard just starts to kick up. Drilling. Your holes are right here and right here. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, so you're, we're gonna have to notch this brace in order to get the tube through it, which the whole assembly is gonna be super strong now. It just makes our job fucking hard. Ah, it's fucking hot! The rubber in the hot metal stuck and it was gooey and it stayed <laughs> stuck to me and kept burning because it was stuck and hot. I'm gonna put the welding shirt on. He's getting hot, hit with hot pieces of goo. Yeah. Come on. Save yourself the frustration. This little snap-on body saw works amazing. Only problem though is there's a little collar right here that keeps the blade from spinning while you're using it. The collar is cracked, so keeping this thing straight is gonna be almost impossible. I have a backup saw from Harbor Freight. Mm, this thing goes straight, but it cuts like even with the same blade compared to that one. Snap-on versus Harbor Freight. Oh my God, the difference between Snap-on and Harbor Freight? Is like the difference between Pop Tarts and a uh, Corvette. I don't know what that means. We have Tan Dickies shorts, a black t-shirt, and all you're missing is a red cap. I have it at home. I mean, I cut it a little wide, but I mean, this is gonna have to go a little further out to here. You know what I mean? Yeah. This is actually working out pretty nice because all this stuff is gonna be under the seat. It's tying in the front and rear subframes in the center and then creating an H brace almost that's gonna attach the cross members to the subframes. Granted, I'll have to maneuver carpet when I do the carpet install. I'm gonna go right about here and we can always raise it up a little more if we need to. Yeah. I use blue because it's almost in the opposite side of the color spectrum as the body color. Sure. My super straight cut job with a drunk body saw. Testament Tuesday. rubber undercoating and the areas are gonna get welded has to come off. This part's gonna suck. I don't think that's the answer. Way, way smarter. Wire wheel, ridiculous. This works way easier. I know someone's gonna ask this, but all the bare steel on these and all the bare steel I just cleaned off for welding, it's not gonna be done in this video, but everything is gonna be corrosion treated inside and out. So just saving the questions. Don't worry, I'm on it. So right now I'm just kind of test fitting these pieces to, to get them as close and as tight as I can to the body of the car. And part of that is I have to trim them around where these little flanges are. See this little flange right here where the sheet metal is? I'm gonna notch the end of this tubing to fit around it so that when this is in here, it butts up flush. 
there's no gaps. And like this piece goes in here, right? And I gotta do the same thing. I have to notch it around that flange there and I have to notch it around this flange here. Just like this. That'll do. Welcome to day number three. All right, fabric cobbler, I'm testing your work. Oh yeah. I cut a little more than I needed to. That's just because I thought the angle that you had to put this thing in there, that I would need extra clearance to be able to get this thing wedged up where it's supposed to go. So it's whatever. They're in there. Yeah, that's nice. It's lower than the seat mounts. That's where the seat bolts up to. So that's good. What we can do is have Dave cut a plate that goes all the way around this and welds onto it. And it'll, it'll reinforce that whole area too. And I'll, you know, add structure. Carefuling. Now, yes, I could try to weld this myself, but for the same reason, I just went to a hair salon to have my hair cut and colored. I'm gonna have Charlie do the welding. I could learn if I put 10,000 hours into it, but I don't have 10,000 hours to learn right now. I have two right-handed gloves. That's good. So those holes on the bottom helped out a ton because it gave more points to weld onto that beam and that's on the inside of there. So it's like a beam and a beam. It's actually good to have the Celica Supra up on the lift because this car is eight years newer than the Celica. Look how similar even the floor is right here. Like there's the hole right there. You can see right here the front subframe going up to the front of the car. It goes down all along the side of the chassis. There is a link that goes out to the pinch weld. And you can see it does almost exactly what Charlie is doing right now, except instead of having them separated, this is being tied together on the RA21. It's longer here, but other than that, they're really similar. Put it down. What is that? Oh, that was a dead mouse fetus. It's, it's not. I don't know why, I thought that was like a dead mouse fetus. That's disgusting and sad. I'm wearing nicer clothes because I had a hair appointment like three hours ago and I didn't want to have to go all the way home to change, so I'm just gonna wear my bunny suit. I'm amazed that none of this started to melt or catch fire when he was welding the underside. I swear they must dip these older cars in a vat of red oxide paint before they build them because everything everywhere is coated and it doesn't look like it was done with a spray gun. This little burr bit isn't exactly the right tool for the job, but I tell you what, this works really well for this situation because I can get into little tiny nooks and crannies where a big disc couldn't. It's like dentistry for robots, cleaning all the plaque and tartar buildup. I know this is a flathead screwdriver, but trust me, this works really well. I've tried a chisel, I've tried a bunch of other things. This works the best. This is like a brownie that no one wants to eat. Just come out of the pan. There you go. Man, this car had excellent sound deadening from the factory. Hot. Hot here. That should make it nice and weldable without having stink in fires. How's your back? It's miserable. Yeah? It's okay. If any of you watching by chance are a back surgeon, Charlie's been to two different doctors and no one can seem to figure out how to fix his back, so. That's a, that's a frame. That's a, that's a subframe connector. That's welded in other than the gap. Mission complete on subframe connectors. The only thing left to do in here is what Charlie said back here to reinforce for the upper links of the four link system and then structurally good to go. Oh, what's the dude's name from One Gun Midnight that does the chassis reinforcements? He did like, he, he did the Devil Z and he also did. I think he also did Blackbird. He did. I don't remember his name, but you just did that. You were that, you were him. Maybe. I'm trying to save you guys from any more body working videos until this is in its final color. But what you might not realize between Angel and myself and when Junkyard Dave came down here to help for a couple of days, there's at least over 250 hours of body work into this so far. And I film literally everything. So 
I'm sorry there's so many body working videos. I'm not gonna just like not do it and I don't have time off camera and I don't wanna half ass it. So the final block sanding on this will be in the video when it gets its final paint and color. Just so there's only one final video of this. In the meantime, we'll have plenty of MA61 content to fill in the void. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you soon with another video. Bye.